Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a plan with me for my planner. This video is coming a little bit late, but there's just been so much going on with my personal life and my job and also, of course, as always, my baby. I only have a little bit of time, but I really wanted to go over how I set up my planner. I use a separate planner to plan my YouTube videos, my side projects, and anything that's not related to my job or my day-to-day. -day. I'm also going to be featuring some stickers that I printed on my own. So this is a digital download from the shop Paper Minty Studio, as well as a new line of washi tapes that she just released. I am not sponsored. I just really love her designs and her work. And when it comes to putting my spreads together, I really like having a cohesive look. There's only a few notebooks that I allow myself to be a little bit random and crazy, but most of the time I like my journals and my notebooks to have a cohesive look and a theme. So I am using this a magical moth kit. This is also a sticker sheet, I believe. She ended up releasing it as a sticker sheet as well, but when I purchased this, it was just a digital download and I have a cameo that I cut this out on and I really love the way that it looks so let's go ahead and start planning but before I do I kind of want to unbox or unwrap these washi tapes so she has more designs that I actually purchased I bought one of each and I'm specifically just using these ones since it matches the color scheme but let's go ahead and open these up and set them up in my tape dispenser So I have this washi tape dispenser that I bought on Amazon. I'll have the link to this in the description box below, but I actually am not quite a fan of these, mainly because I don't like the way that the tape doesn't stick. So here is one that I've already loaded with some other tapes that I would like to use. These two washi tapes are also from Paper Minty Studio. They are in a green, color tone and this is the other one that she has which is uh, blue. It doesn't really match the theme so I'm not using it for this setup but I am going to use some of these greens maybe so I loaded them up in here but as I was saying I don't like how the washi tapes don't stick to the edge here. They come up quite often. I've tried doing a bunch of different things to make them stick but I think it's just the way that this is designed so the edge of these acrylic dispensers don't stick because I think there's just not enough surface area so it does start to lift up and when there's more uh, tape that hangs over the edge it kind of comes up on its own. I've only found that the cheaper versions of the washi tapes the ones that are kind of on the lower end quality don't really stick as well the ones that i am using here including the paper minty studio ones have stuck pretty okay but i just don't like the way that they curl up on the end here and it's because these guys have nothing to stick on once you rip them out so that's just my honest review i'm not really quite a fan of these i have purchased another acrylic washi tape dispenser that I will show in another video, but I'm liking that a lot more. But I am still gonna use it because I like having a compact version. The one that I purchased is a bit longer, so I'm still gonna use this. I just um, am not really a fan of the way they don't stick. Okay, I'm done rambling. Let's open the first washi tape here. And this is a grid tape with a mushroom pattern. So you can see there are some moons and some sparkles and some mushrooms. I love the way that Paper Minty Studio has a whimsical floral type theme to most of their stickers. It fits my aesthetic very nicely. This one is more of a light cream, almost an orange, and there are just some roses uh, in an orange color with some leaves. And 
and this one is a brown kind of a coffee colored washi tape also my hands are really inky because I was just cleaning out some of my fountain pens as you can see here they're having a little bit of a bath so sorry for the dirty fingers okay so this is a floral uh, washi tape so the flowers are white on a brown um, coffee colored background and this one is very simple it's got uh, just some white sparkles on a light brown maybe a light tan colored background so no pattern on there no grid or anything just like the last two just very simple I like having a mix of complex and simple patterns because it's nice to do layering on spreads. And the last one, which I think is super cute, I kind of want to save some of this for when I write letters because it's got a paper airplane. And this is a peach colored washi tape with a paper airplane design. It's a paper airplane flying through the clouds with some sparkles. And here's a close up of it. And I will be swatching these a little bit later in the setup. If you guys want to see it up close. And I'm going to do just a quick little review on how you set this thing up. So you pull this bar out and this can go all the way out so be careful because it does come out and I am going to simply pull the tape and set it up here so far the quality of these washi tapes are really nice that one ripped up really easily I talk about in um, one of my stationary haul videos that some of the washi tape that I got on sale for Black Friday last year was so cheap that I bought them for almost under a dollar. I think it was like 80 cents. And you could really tell that the quality is not that great because the tape doesn't really um, hold together when you're pulling it off the roll, which I think is kind of a waste because you end up tearing it. But so far, Paper Minty Studios tape is very great quality. And I'm not putting these in any order. Typically I do, but when I use specific tapes for my spreads, I only pick out the tape that I wanna use and I set them up in these dispensers. And then when I'm done setting up my spreads, I put them all back. So these are more of a temporary setup anyway, so I don't mind that I'm not a fan of the dispensers. These are not permanent permanent setups yet. <laughs> if I like using them enough, I will make them a permanent setup. Okay, so I put all the tapes facing out the way that I want them to. And what's really nice is, let me secure this first. Um, so you just shoot this thing back in and connect it to the other side. I might have to go a little bit longer. Pull these out a little bit more. And then I can shoot this thing here and you twist it to lock it. And there you go. It's pretty stable. And the nice thing about it is that this little blade here, you can switch it. So it's got two sides here. There is a sharp side. Sorry, <laughs> they're both sharp. A thicker pattern of the tear or a smaller pattern of the tear. I like using the smaller pattern. So I'm going to loop that back in. Oh, you have to do it with the screw side down. Just be careful you don't poke yourself. I think I did that once and I got a little bit of a cut and cuts on your hand are the worst, especially because I am in mommy mode all the time. So having cuts on your hand are the worst. 
Anyways, that's how you set it up. Here's a close-up look of all the tapes that I'm using. Again, I'll link her shop in the video description below if you guys want to check it out. Hey everyone, it's Cami in the studio and I wanted to do a quick flip through of the month of January. I unfortunately didn't get to fill out my planner at all in February, so I decided to just show you what I did at the beginning of the year and the decoration that I do for all these spreads is really minimal. I just play around with stickers from the Paper Minty Studio Shop as well. I don't exclusively only use her stickers, that's just what I tend to use in my videos. And I also use my Tombow Dueled brush pens to do some really simple hand lettering, but I mainly focused on staying on top of the planning in my planner. So I use the appointed template for the weekly setups where you fill out your priorities, then you write out your tasks, and then you plan your week. There's a section for notes that you can see here which I actually use for journaling. So anytime that I start a new week, I start off by writing it down my priorities, any tasks I can think of, and then I journal. Sometimes it's a little bit out of order and I need to journal first, but that's pretty much what the right hand side is for. And the left hand side is a weekly view. So that pretty much wraps up the flip through and it's time to jump into the actual planner setup. All right, now that we're getting into the video, I wanted to just thank everybody who has been really patient with me. The last month in February was so crazy for my day job. The project I was on was very demanding and also my son was adjusting to a new sleep schedule. But now that I'm off that project and my job has kind of slowed down a little bit, I'm able to work on my passion project, which is this YouTube channel. So I'm going to pretty much just update you on what my life has been like and what's going on with me as well as talk through what I'm doing in the video. So this is going to be a very chatty plan with me, but I think you guys all enjoy that. Anyways, I am turning to the very first page of my March spread and it's actually just a single page with my goals and important dates. I like to warm up on this page with a photo and I chose a picture from my phone and you can see I'm waiting for it to print out. It actually takes a little bit of time but I think if you set up a queue, it can print out a lot of photos all at once. It's just that initial first setup of sending or connecting the printer to your phone. But um, I really do like this printer. It's really handy and I love the convenience of it. The photo that I chose was actually a recent picture of my family. This is our first official family photo. I was supposed to take maternity pics before my son was born, but he was born um, early, literally the day before I had my photo shoot, my water broke, and he was born a few days after that. So we decided to take a proper family photo and I'm not going to lie, I am really, really overweight here. Um, I've gained probably 30, almost 40 pounds when I first met my husband um, and I had my first miscarriage. I was really depressed and I kind of tried to hide it and it showed in my really unhealthy eating habits and I didn't exercise at all and then after the second miscarriage everything just kind of went downhill. Um, I will probably talk about that in another video but basically I haven't really been as active or as in shape as I want to be but I realize that that's okay. I am just really grateful that I have my health even though I'm not 100%. Um, there's always room for improvement but I am going to be focused more on eating better and trying to get back into my exercise habits so you're definitely going to be seeing a bit of that in my journaling or my planning videos. I'm going to talk about it as often as I 
can or as often as it comes up because I feel like there are other people out there, especially other moms who are in the same boat as I am where you pretty much just focus on your baby and you focus on your husband and your family, but you don't really think about yourself. And the theme for March for me is self-care. So I really want to make sure that I incorporate my health and my diet into that. Right now, I'm actually hand-lettering the word March, which is actually in a color that I did not like. I think I picked the wrong color of marker just because I glanced really quickly at the cup holder that I had and picked it but I wasn't looking for that particular color it was too orange so I cut out some scrap sticker paper I literally just pulled out a misprint from my trash can and found a piece of paper that was just the right size and I do this often I think before, maybe in my early years of bullet journaling and planning, I would typically get extremely upset for not getting it right the first time, but eventually I learned to let that go because it really doesn't matter as long as you can fix it, I think, in a way that makes you feel better about it, it's okay to make mistakes and to cover them up because you're really the only one that sees it anyway. Even though I'm sharing this with all of you, I still don't mind. So I picked the right color this time. I rewrote the word March, which honestly looks a lot better the second time around. And then I just decorate it with some typical sparkles and dots and just random, random pretty little things. Like I said before, I typically use this first page to just get my feet wet in what I'm doing and the reason why I have to do a bit of a warm up is because I usually try to squeeze in recordings, especially during the day when my son is asleep and so I'm switching gears from like I call it mommy mode to a creative mode and I'm also recording so I usually start with this page because it's really simple and easy to just put things together in a very free form way and I like to start out with a photo of something that motivates me because it really puts me in the right mindset I guess to really focus on what is my inspiration and I always draw inspiration from my family. So I am covering up that terrible orange color. <laughs> I mean it's not terrible, it's just not the color I was going for and it really doesn't look too bad. I think what I do is I add some more washi tape just to distract from the fact that it's a completely different piece of paper but that is the magic of washi tape and that is why I am completely sold on getting as many tapes as I can. As you can see, the Paper Minty Studio tape is just so beautiful. I love her patterns and her colors. They're not too distracting, but they're just subtle enough that the closer you look at it, you realize that there is some really amazing designs and it matches also with the stickers. At the bottom of my goals and important dates page, I like to use this section to journal. I originally planned to use this section to recap the month, but I'm just terrible at going back into certain spreads and filling things out. So I like to take the opportunity of just, like I said before, being in that right headspace. So while I am thinking about the kind of decorating I want to do, I'm also starting to think about what it is about this month that I want to focus on specifically for my passion projects, my YouTube, and I'm actually going to be starting commissions pretty soon for some custom design stickers and so I want to keep this planner specific to my side projects and my bullet journal is really focused on my personal life and so that kind of separation really helps me focus on just those things. So this month I will is the header that I chose because I want to really 
journal and get my thoughts together on what I want to do for the month of March. And these little memo stickers are perfect because I am always really rambly in both my verbal and also my written journaling, but um, I wanted to write down my main focus, which was to practice self-care this month. I think I almost burnt myself out last month just trying to juggle everything and you can tell in the way that my videos were put together and the way that I did not keep up with my health and my normal routine and I just was trying to survive and then in the other memo note I wrote down the one thing that I really wanted to do this month and I wrote down start my garden which is technically a personal goal but I also want to at least have a gardening video recorded before the month is over. I may not actually get to editing it because I have a hard time figuring out when to release certain videos, but I will at least get it recorded because this is a huge month for my garden right now. I normally don't talk about my garden in depth because I know this is a planning video and there may not be that many people who are listening to this who cares about gardening but part of the things that I want to talk about in this channel is going to include garden as well as art and journaling so I hope that you guys still find it interesting even though that's not something you guys very are very familiar with. So like I was saying, I have a really huge month ahead of me with my garden. I am starting all of the seeds that I'm going to use for the first couple seasons. So that's spring and summer. And then I'm also going to be purchasing a lot of things for my backyard so that it is as great as it can be with the challenges that I have. Um, I'll talk about that more later if it comes up in the video, but basically I am just journaling about the goals that I have for this month and I talk a little bit about what it is that I'm going to really be focusing on which is self-care and just resetting and getting back on track and because I've done that quick little journal session I now know what my goals are for the month and this was really hard for me to come up with without the journaling because I have pretty intense ADHD and I can only really focus my thoughts once I get them out physically somehow. So I had to journal just to wrap my head around what it is I wanted to focus on. I'm really terrible when it comes to picking a few things and sticking to those things. So journaling just helps me kind of get that focus and that clarity. Um, but anyways, the goals that I have here is catch up on videos. So I do have a couple of videos that I have recorded that I really want to release this month. The next thing is plan out entire year or next quarter. I am going to partially plan out as much as I can. Um, I think the hard part for me is I don't really know what is in store, so I can definitely plan out the videos for the next three months, but I'll probably just soft plan for the rest of the year. So I also want to do a garden tour or a garden journal setup video as well as launch my website and also do a giveaway. So those are the things that I'm focusing on for the month of March. I'm really hoping that I can get to it. I think I only got one of my goals in January completed. So I really need to focus on making better and I guess more attainable goals because I have a tendency to just dream. I'm a dreamer. I love to aim high and aim for the best. Uh, what's that saying? Um, if you aim for the stars, no, if you shoot for the moon, you land among the stars. And that really resonates with the way that I do my planning. I get very caught up in the planning future portion that I don't really think about whether or not I can achieve those goals. So I'm hoping that the goals that I set for myself are more realistic and that I can accomplish them in the month of March.
Alright, so I start off by writing the month of March on top of the calendar. The spread is a two page spread and it's a really simple layout. I love how large the boxes are and that there is a section for notes on the left hand side as well as the bottom. If you know me, you know I do not like writing on the bottom of my bullet journal because of how difficult it is to rest my palm on a notebook, especially if I'm at the beginning stages of a notebook because the right hand side of the notebook is really thick because of all the pages, but because this planner is rather thin because it's a larger size, I can easily write on the bottom, so I do use the bottom of my planner unlike my bullet journal. I decided to use this sticker that's a habit tracker to track each day that I use the planner. I really wanted just something I could cross off every time I open my planner and I write something in it. I may or may not do something elaborate, but I do want to at least get into the notebook once a day, even if it's just to cross off a task. And I use other memo note stickers as well to fill out some other things that I want to keep track of. At this point, I don't really know yet what it is. I just know that I want something visually to go there. And I can also use that space again for something that I want to keep track of. So these stickers are just perfect. I'm a huge fan of Paper Minty Studios products and I love that she had a journal kit as a digital download because it allowed me to print the stickers as many times as I needed as well as print out different sizes and I was able to edit them in Photoshop to get them to all fit on one sheet of paper and I didn't waste anything so big shout outs to Paper Minty Studio for coming up with an awesome journal kit. Again, the link to her shop is going to be in the video description. While she does have an Etsy, I have spoken to her and she's actually trying to move away from Etsy. So if you do shop on her store, please make sure you're shopping through Instagram. It just is going to help her small business grow into something that she can support on her own without the need to depend on Etsy. Anyways, I am continuing to decorate the calendar with some of the stickers as well as the washi tape. I personally like to add some stickers to the calendar itself, even though I know I'm going to be writing in them. I just pick the weekends to add something to because I know that I usually don't fill out too many things on the weekends. And then I also try to make it so that it looks nice and not too cluttered and I think I really achieved that here. At first I think I was going a little overboard with the stickers because I had technically an unlimited amount of stickers because I could just print more but I also wanted to practice restraint because if you know me I love to go overboard with decoration so I made sure that I didn't go too crazy and I stopped myself before I went too far. You're also going to notice that the lighting is going to change right now in the shot because I do my best to record during the day, but with the sun setting, it's really not ideal, as you can see with the light casting on the planner, and that was just a hard switch to my nighttime setup. I really do prefer natural lighting, but it's just really hard for me to do with my sun, so I was only able to record half this video during the day. The other half I had to finish at night. So I hope that that doesn't bother you guys too much. I purchased a second ring light to hopefully make it look a bit brighter so that it doesn't look like there's such harsh shadows and I can use the double lighting to adjust it and uh, change the color a little bit in post. Um, so yeah, I just hope that I can continue to upgrade the video production and that you guys don't mind that some of these are done in the middle of the night with such harsh fluorescent lighting. 
Right now I am filling out the habit tracker and like I said earlier, I really wanted something that I could use to motivate me a little bit to keep working in this planner. I am pretty good about journaling in my bullet journal and my daily journal, but I was really letting this planner slip and there could be a couple reasons for that. Uh, one being that I have too many notebooks. I am really feeling the pressure right now to keep up with all the notebooks that I had originally planned to but I still feel like I need to do that even if it's just right now while I'm getting my my feet wet and just coming up with the proper strategy but as you can see I already crossed out one of the days and I missed the first one but that's okay I am currently listening to a book called Atomic Habits and one of the things that he mentions is to um not be so hard on yourself if you miss a day but do your best to not miss two in a row so that is the practice that i'm going to implement into my day to day and right now i'm actually using one of the stickers from paper minty studio to write in the focus of the month which is self-care i know i'm recording this super late at night right now but i am very determined to get this video out soon so while i know that i'm pushing myself tonight to get this video done i'm actually taking the day off for this friday so i will have all the time all day to get this video prepped and uploaded to you guys as soon as possible at the bottom of my planner i'm writing the word videos and it's going to say videos I will make or videos to make and I decided to use this section to keep track of all the videos that I have floating around in my head. I think the videos that I write out are actually not the videos I ended up with in my final planning. So basically I have two videos that I have recorded that are in partial states of editing. One is the Q&A video that I originally recorded at 2,000 subscribers that I was going to post at 3,000 subscribers but now I'm rushing to get it done before I hit 4,000 because I think I've passed the halfway mark at 3,500 so I'm really trying to get that video out and the other video is my part two of the stationary haul that I recorded last month or recorded in January. I had a huge stationary haul that I was going to record into one giant video, but there was no way I could fit it into one video. So I am splitting it into two and the stationary haul is the second part of that video, which focuses on small businesses and YouTubers. And the other videos that I have listed here are my plan with me videos for the month of March. I wrote them down because I still haven't gotten to them because I am really late with my plan with me videos and also I have two plan with me's that I have to do every month. I plan in this one and then I plan in my bullet journal and I am very adamant about showing both of them because I really think that the different styles of planning is very useful for other people and I want to show that you can still do bullet journal style planning even in a regular planner and you can also do regular planner planning in a bullet journal. I also wrote down a couple of videos here like my Gal Galen leather folio review and setup as well as a journal with me collab and a studio tour but I don't think I'm going to do the Galen leather folio review and setup or the studio tour just because I just don't really think I'll have time for it but those are definitely on my master video list of things that I want to release so that's just a quick sneak peek for you guys in the future and then I also wrote down a shopping list I have a bunch of stores that I wanted to buy some things from and I have a really hard time controlling the urge to I am actually saving up for a really really large purchase by the end of the year so I have to keep track of what it is that I am spending my money on and hopefully I can control any impulse buys 
But right now I'm listing Goulet pens because there are a couple of fountain pens I wanted to purchase that would round out my collection for the rest of the year. And then I also have my two favorite sticker shops, Paper Minty Studio and Together with KX. And then I also wrote down Galen Leather and then I crossed it out because I actually just purchased some items from there, uh, particularly a washi tape dispenser that's made in walnut i think is the one i went for so i snagged that purchase as well as a couple of other things so i probably will have a huge galen leather video haul coming up soon anyways right now i'm not just going through the days of the week and i am highlighting them in the beige color and then i'm going to highlight the weekends in a brighter green color the reason why i do this is because i actually start my planning on mondays for my calendars on my phone and my computer and also in my bullet journal this planner is the only notebook I have that has a calendar which starts on a Sunday and that will really throw me off if I don't make it obvious somehow. And I am also crossing out the first two days of the month because it was actually, I think, the Wednesday night that I did this. So I am really doing my best to get this video out to you guys. Right now I am filling in some dots for the video releases that I have planned. I originally was planning to release videos on these days, but now that I think about it, I just want the video to be finished. So the goal is by Thursday night, which usually bleeds into Friday morning, the video should at least be uploaded to YouTube even though I haven't filled in any of the descriptions or added any cards or anything like that. And then the idea is that I can publish it whenever it makes sense to. For the March plan with me, I'm trying my best to get them out in the first week of March, which is why I am really rushing and I am hoping that my day off on Friday and maybe Monday would be used uh, for that purpose. I really don't like being behind with these releases because I know that some of you guys like to journal and plan along with me so i would feel terrible if there was somebody out there who wasn't able to plan their video because i or sorry if there was someone out there who wasn't able to plan their notebook because i wasn't there with this video so i know i'm probably putting a lot of pressure on myself but i know that for me personally when i am really looking forward to something that a youtuber or an influencer or an artist is making i really hold out for it so anyways that was the monthly setup i am now moving into the weekly spread which is this awesome layout it's very similar to the hobonichi where there is a vertical weeks layout on the left hand side but on the right hand side there is a section for your priorities and tasks so i'll get into that a little bit right now i am going to be using these day stickers to cover up the original days of the week and i am actually thrown off because i realized that the week starts on monday on this page which really helps because this is how i visualize my week anyway i usually start my weeks on monday so that's where i get the most of the beginning of the week tasks done and then I switch it up with a different color which is available on the journal kit to mark the weekends just so that it's a little bit of a visual difference and that's perfect because then the next week I have all of the brown days to use and then the beige days will be for the weekend. And I am doing a mix of decorating with 
the washi tape and the Tombow dual brush pens. I haven't really found a way that I like to decorate with these other than use it for hand lettering, but I think I'm working on something in my personal journals that I will try to phase into the planning of my planners and hopefully you'll you'll see it. I'm trying to do a hybrid of doodling and illustrations so that I can quickly get some art done but not spend too much time on it. Anyways, right now I am filling out the first couple lines with some really large words that I really attribute to my focus of the day. So I am referencing back to what what videos I have planned for the week and I originally was going to have the videos uploaded on Thursday and the next plan with me on Saturday but since I'm recording so late I may actually get it released on Monday for an upload Sunday but I am getting distracted because that's really just how my thought process is. I try my best to narrate what it is that I'm doing and what I'm thinking and you just got a quick little peek at how my brain works and so I really do tend to get all over the place like I said I do have ADHD and so it's really hard for me to kind of narrow down what it is that I'm trying to prioritize so writing out in large letters what it is I'm trying to focus on for that day really helps and so you can see that for this week I have two videos that I'm focusing on. Monday was prep day, Tuesday was my recording day, and Wednesday was the edit day. I carried the edit into the next day, but you'll see how I adjust for that later on. Right now I am using the notes section to start journaling because like I said, my brain kind of goes all over the place and I need to gain some clarity around what it is that I am trying to plan for and the way that I do that is I start off by journaling and so the header of the section is going to say get back, I think it's get back up. And the reason why I did that is because I kind of, I sort of fell in the last month, I guess. I'm trying to find the best way to word it, but I really did fail in keeping up with a lot of my tasks because I really had to drop everything else that I was doing and focus on two things, my son and my job. And I really had a hard time balancing everything else in my life, including my journaling. And so I let a lot of it slip just so that I can keep up. And so the header for this journal entry is get back up because I know that anytime I get knocked down and I am down for a while, it really is hard for me to get started again, but I wrote this journal entry as sort of an affirmation that I will get back up and get back on track with my videos and my side projects. And I have to say that I am really motivated for this month because I even though I'm behind on my videos, I have a clear understanding of what it is that I need to focus on and how I have to get there. And that is really, for me personally, a good place to be. When I was going through my depression, I found that it was really hard for me to get back up for anything. If I didn't do something or if I did something really poorly, it was really hard to get out of the mindset of being a failure and I would be stuck in such a really, really low rut for a long time. But I am in a place now where it's easy for me to bounce back and I think it's because I have no choice. Um, having my son really sparked something in me and I think the fact that 
every day, no matter how tired I am or no matter how little sleep I get, as soon as he wakes up, I have to be my best. I have to be there for him because if I'm not, then he is upset or he's sad or he's hungry. And that kind of fire is what I needed really to get started with this YouTube channel and with everything else that I'm planning for myself this year. So I am really proud of myself that I can do that. I'm using the rest of the Paper Minty Studios stickers and washi tape to decorate the rest of the page. Like I said, I always tend to decorate the bottom right hand side because it's just really hard for me to write on there. Plus it also kind of anchors the look of the page anyway. The journal entry that I wrote about is pretty much everything that I explained. I had a hard time last month keeping up with everything, but this month I'm going to do my best to get back on track and also get a better view of what I'm doing for the rest of the year and if at minimal the next quarter. I have started planning my goals for this year in quarter stages because I really like the number three. I like having a three phase or three stage process to almost everything that I do. There's a lot of prep that goes into everything that I try to achieve, every project that I have. Then there's the actual execution phase and then there is a closeout phase where for me it means trying to finish whatever it is I started even if it's not 100% and then also looking forward into what it is that I have to do next. That's kind of how I split up my mental strategy anyway. So going into the year, splitting it up into quarters. So every three months I have a specific goal. And for the end of the first quarter, my goal was to actually build a social media presence and YouTube was my first goal and achieving the ads monetization feature, which was the 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours goal. I talk about it a little bit in my channel update video and you can find that in the card that I'll be linking up in the corner. But basically I had the goal to have a social media presence and I am still working on Instagram and Facebook, but I feel like this month is the month that I can really focus on that. And next quarter, I have a few other goals, which I won't really go over right now, but I need to finalize them and plan them this month. So again, that's kind of what I was explaining where uh, the first month I do a lot of prep, the second month I do a lot of execution, and the third month I reflect. And so that's going to be kind of the pattern that I have. And I think it worked out because I achieved my goal for YouTube in January and that was great because in February I couldn't focus on anything else but my actual day job so YouTube had to take a bit of a back seat but it still worked out because I am now off the crazy project we finished and wrapped up and I have a little bit more free time at night. So the top of this layout, like I was saying, has a section for your priorities and I love that it's numbered because it allows me to really have a prioritization. So the first thing was my plan with me video for my planner and the next thing is my plan with me bullet journal video and I also have a couple of other goals that may or may not make it but I write them anyway so the three and four is not too much of a priority but that's what I have in my head and then the section underneath it is where you do a brain dump of all your tasks most of the tasks I'm coming up with right now are for my plan with me videos I have two videos that I have to record this weekend so I'm really doing my best to try to get them all done but what's really nice about this is that I can really just list out everything that I know has to get done and that I need to schedule into the weekly spread on the left and this helps me kind of get those subtasks started even though there are smaller tasks that come out of this I really just want to get the main building blocks of the tasks that I listed out in the priorities or I guess those are more goals and not tasks. 
And finally, I just decorate any of the empty white space with the beautiful washi tape. I just cannot get over how awesome these tapes are. I am not sponsored or a rep or anything. I just really love her products and I know a lot of people have commented on my previous videos about going to her shop. So again, I just want to do another shout out for Paper Minty Studio. If you want to check out her shop and get the same products that I'm using in this video, you can check it out in my description. And just another quick disclaimer, please shop on her instagram she is trying to move away from etsy but of course if you can only shop on etsy that's totally understandable but if you have the option please give her a bit of support and shop on her instagram page anyways like i said i am just decorating the rest of these spots with some stickers and tape i love having the ability to just pull it off the sheet and add it to where i think needs a little bit of decoration i normally would fill this out on camera but i didn't really know what i wanted to do anyway so i am pretty much done for this video and right now we're going to end with a final flip through so i really just wanted to thank you guys again for all the support and the kind words that you've been leaving for me i haven't really had a chance to reply to the youtube comments but i promise i will now that things have slowed down i am so glad to be back on a semi-regular schedule and getting these kinds of videos out i know that i had so many things planned in february that i just couldn't get around to but again you guys have just been awesome with the support that you've been giving me and i am so very grateful for that also please let me know in the comments below how you guys are liking this plan with me i know i have two different types of plan with me's going on with this planner as well as my bullet journal but i am really hoping that you guys enjoy having different types of content up for me i know i have to work a little bit harder to keep up with these notebooks but my goal for this year was to try a bunch of different things out because i really wanted to fine tune and lock in a process that works for me and there were so many different things that i was interested in that i never got a chance to try in previous years and this is my chance to do them all and hopefully i'll be able to pick and choose what kind of notebooks i like what planning style works for me and I have to say, I am in love with this appointed planner. It's so easy for me to just get everything set up and to use it and start planning. So I am actually preferring this a little bit more than my bullet journal. I think it's because there's just so much pressure around setting up the bullet journal that I take a lot longer, but I really love just being able to use stickers and washi tape and have everything be super low key. Thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoyed making this super long video. Don't forget to like, comment, or if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!